Should I prioritize my career goals before entering into a committed relationship? Thanks for tuning in to Dear Cyber Sue, I'm Susan McCord. Well, this is the topic we're going to discuss today because some people put their whole focal point on getting their degree, getting their career going, whether it's their own business, whether it's getting the doctorate, whatever the priority is for the career. If they're putting all their energy into it, it's really, really difficult to have any kind of connection because there's no balance. So this is a good idea if you're young and you do have great aspirations and it's going to take you 10 years of schooling. It is really difficult to give to a partner when you're so committed to going to classes and exams and all the things that go with that. So yes, I would say personally that I would prefer to meet somebody who's pretty much finished that part of their life because it takes a toll on the person sitting in the, the other seat of the relationship. Because you're busy, you don't have the same amount of energy to give to a partnership. That's okay as long as you're both on the same page. But quite often what happens, one person might be a little bit more driven than the other. And so they feel that they're always in the backseat, that they are not in the forefront of the relationship. And while they may think they can do this in the very beginning, eventually it takes this toll if there isn't a reciprocated connection happening and people are both putting in the same amount of energy. Saying that, you can have a really great relationship if you're both supportive of each other's career goals. So if you met somebody and you're in a similar career, uh, striving for the same kind of career, you have a lot of similar things going on. You understand each other and you can talk about it and support each other through it. You can help each other during exam times because you know what's kind of going on because you're dealing with it yourself. So that can work and you understand that you have to both take time apart from each other at certain times when there's big exams coming, there's practicums, there's all these things that go with whatever career that you're dealing with. The problem is some people go into relationship after relationship with their priority being their career first. And a lot of people get hurt along the way because they think that the, it can work. So they go in believing that this connection can actually transpire into something wonderful. It's really, really difficult to have a long commitment with somebody when there's constant career changes, constant schooling that hasn't been dealt with. That takes a big person to be able to be in that type of relationship. You have to be fairly independent. So if you're the type of person that likes to be with your partner a lot and they're your best friend and you wanna do everything with them, this isn't the kind of relationship that you should put yourself in because you're always going to feel like you're number two that you're not the priority. If you're with somebody who's got a very demanding job, they're working shift work, they're, or they're on call all the time, you'll never feel like the priority because they've got people that need them too. And those people take priority over you, if, especially if it's something like a patient, because they have to be available for that because that is their job. That is a choice of job they took. So please, before you go into a relationship with somebody and they've got a very demanding career, be honest with yourself, be realistic. Can I handle this? Life always has ups and downs. There's always something you have to deal with, but you don't wanna make it more difficult than it needs to be. If you're both very supportive of each other's career and you can sit down and help each other through things and be a part of their growth, that's great because you're evolving together as a couple. You're not watching somebody evolve or you're sort of stuck in the background. And this is something that happens. There becomes jealousy or there becomes resentment because you aren't feeling like you are the number one priority. This is why you have to make sure when you're choosing a partner 
for a a long-term commitment that you are very compatible and you've had these tough discussions as long as you're getting back as much as you're giving. Because if everything is about your partner and their business and you're doing all the compromising, that won't work. You have to be there for each other. So if you've got a very intense career, just make sure that you don't think yours is more important than your partner's. Because it isn't. Each person has their reasons for doing what they're doing in their life. And you have to respect that. It's also really important to take the time to discuss concerns. Make up a a calendar with time management of when you do prioritize each other. Because you can still be both very busy, but when you've got something on the calendar to look forward to, you know that you're prioritizing each other at that particular time. Don't renege on it. Make sure that you follow through on it. And as long as you've always got something that you are going to do as a couple coming up each week or every two weeks, you can keep it strong between the two of you, even with super busy schedules. But you want to stay connected because if you get too busy in opposite directions, we all know how that works. You start checking out you start pulling apart from each other so it's really important to always communicate and compromise with each other evolving together as the years go by is the key to longevity in a relationship you're both going to have to make some sacrifices but it has to be equal in that department it can't just be you always making the sacrifice or your partner always making the sacrifice and that's really important to be aware of And if your partner sits you down and says, I don't feel seen, I don't feel heard anymore, you're getting yourself into a situation that needs to be repaired very quickly because we can all take our careers a little bit further than we want to sometimes. The one thing about today, I'm finding that a lot of couples are getting married later and so they are getting their career intact before they commit to a partnership. If you get married younger, you're going to have more to deal with because you're still finding your way into your careers, your business. So it is going to be a little bit more compromising, a little bit more stuff you have to deal with and it can feel very unbalanced. The trick is make your partner always feel a part of your life and vice versa. Sometimes when we have opposite schedules, we become jealous, we get insecure because we're not seeing our partner, we don't know what they're doing, we don't know who they are anymore, and we're just not staying connected. So all sorts of stuff comes into play and that can cause a lot of unsafe feelings in a relationship. Sharing your thoughts, your feelings and concerns with your partner will always keep you aligned as a couple. So make sure you can handle the career they've chosen and they can handle the career you've chosen. Thank you so much for tuning in to Dear Cyber Sue today. Please leave any comments below and please subscribe. Thank you so much everyone. Bye-bye.